Welcome back to Tashkid Effects for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Harmony One whose current price stands at the 0.01653 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is up by 0.3% and in this video I want to give you the key scenarios that I expect to play out basing my analysis on the audio waves and the Fibonacci's and also the key areas of support and resistances and also draw out any key chart pattern that you have in information on this chart and I'll kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening on this chart. Harmony One from the all-time high has been seeing no prices in this massive ABC corrective movement which has now taken us back to around the $0.015 mark and starting my analysis here on the daily chart after making a low down there here on the daily chart we saw a very nice bounce to the upper side managed to break above key areas of resistances but at the key area of resistance at around the $0.03476 mark we got to rejected and we are seeing a massive pullback to the lower side jumping to the forward chart for further analysis here on the 4 hour chart after making our low down there we saw a very nice bounce to the upper side in a movement that I was terming as an audio wave structure having these as the first wave to the upper side then a second wave then a third wave then I expected a retracement to the lower side in the formation of a fourth wave then a fifth wave but that movement to the upper side in that audio wave structure got invalidated the moment our wave 4 over here retraced into the high of that first wave and having done so I had to remove these audio wave structures from my charts and view this movement to the upper side as something else and the only way we could view that as is an ABC corrective movement that was correcting that impulsive movement that gave us a low at around the $0.016 mark and after making that high for that ABC corrective movement we have been seeing a, a very impulsive movement to the door side which has now taken us given us a new low at around the $0.015 mark and within that movement we had also been trading within this channel and within that channel we have also managed to lose key areas of support at around the $0.018 mark the $0.015 mark and we have made our new low at around the $0.015 mark and this channel this is a descending channel and you have continued to respect that channel to the lower side and also giving us more than three touch points here on within this channel and there's a possibility that uh, harmony one might continue trading within this channel and maybe see a bit of a bounce to the upper side of the channel manage to break above the key area of resistance at around the 0.17 dollar mark maybe manage to break out of the channel to the upper side and maybe see a successful retest of the upper side of the channel and once that plays out there's a possibility that harmony one might continue pushing higher to the upper side and in case that plays out that will be respecting an idea to structure that i have right here on this chart and that area 12 structure starts at around the 0.05 dollar mark which is a key area of resistance right here and we can have this movement as a wave one making our low at around the $0.015 dollar mark then this ABC corrective movement that is what gave us uh, our wave 2 and because our wave 2 is a corrective wave that ABC corrective movement makes now makes sense and whatever we are seeing in this impulsive movement giving us a new low at around the $0.15 dollar mark is what is forming a wave 3 then I expect a wave 4 to the upper side and then a wave 5 to complete that higher edge to wave count 1 so there's a possibility that harmony 1 has not yet seen its low and there's a possibility of harmony 1 making a new low here on this chart and in case we see increase in volume and we manage to break out of the channel to the upper side manage to break above those key areas of resistances then that will be playing out in the formation of this edu 12 count 4 and we can sketch out a target area to the upper side in the formation of that fourth wave using the fibonacci's connecting the fibs from the high of that wave one to the low of that wave one and that gives me a minimum retracement area to the upper side in the formation of that fourth wave between the fib level 0.382 and the fib level 0.618 and I can mark that target area here on the charts then remove the fibs and you can see that my target area lies between the $0.027 dollar mark and the $0.023 dollar mark so there is a possibility that in case we see an increase in volume manage to break out of those chart patterns that you have information manage to break above key areas of resistances there is a possibility of 
I'm on one getting into this target area that I have drawn out here on this chart before we see another impulsive movement to the lower side in the formation of our wave 5 to give us a new low and once that plays out then we can sketch even more bullish movements to the upper side in the formation of a, another first wave or maybe taking us back to an all-time high and once that plays out we can sketch even more bullish movements to the upper side in the maybe taking us back to an all-time high so let's be patient and see how that plays out also taking a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported here on the one hour rsi four hour rsi on the four hour rsi we are trading at around the 39 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support any movement to the upper side in the formation of that fourth wave also taking a look at the macd on the macd we have printed a bullish cross and that would mean high prices could be coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated